Ukraine is reporting nearly 70 missiles launched into the country today, they say aimed at destroying critical infrastructure and killing civilians. It's the biggest wave of strikes in weeks, with targets including power stations during freezing weather. But Ukraine also says they were able to intercept many of those missiles, most in fact. Britt Klenet joins me live now from Kyiv, Ukraine, with more on this. Britt, this is one of the biggest attacks in weeks in terms of the number of missiles launched, but not in terms of the impact. What does that tell you? And what is Russia saying about this? Well, because so many of them were intercepted, you know, almost 70 rockets were launched into Ukraine and 54 of them were shot down by air defense. You know, air raid sirens rang out across the country this morning uh, from Lviv in the west all the way to the eastern Kharkiv region and down to Odessa in the south. Infrastructure was also hit, leaving hundreds of thousands, Diane, without power. You know, Kyiv had been on high alert, even President Zelensky warning on Friday to expect another barrage during the holidays and you know Diane we were, a little earlier we were at the scene and we spoke to a man who was in bed sleeping on the second floor of his home at the time of the impact and he said a wall collapsed in front of him saying it's a miracle that he managed to survive calling it his new birthday so this was one of the dozens of missiles uh, intercepted this morning but you can just see you know he, the resilience that he showed uh, even in the hours after his hit his, his house was hit by that debris now, Britt, a Kremlin official also now says that Russia has rejected a proposal from Ukraine to hold a peace summit in February. Without that, is there any road to peace in the near future? It's difficult to say, but the road to peace does seem to be quite narrow, you know, because a compromise seems unlikely. Talks do seem unlikely. Real talks, I say. You know, Russia refuses to withdraw its troops, and at the same time, Ukraine says it won't give up an inch of territory. And Ukraine has the momentum on the battlefield. You know, fierce battles are underway in Ukraine's east. Ukraine is edging close to Kremlin, a heavily fortified city in Luhansk. And there are reports that Russian forces have even had to move command post about 10 miles from the front line there. And Ukraine says that if Russia loses that city, the entire line of defense there will fall. So yes, talks, real talks do seem unlikely. And Brit, Ukrainian forces are also trying to make their own advances and to, and to fight back at this point. What's the latest on that strategy? Well, look, the, we've got President Putin on the one hand banning oil sales to countries and companies that agreed on a $60 price cap set by the G7, the EU and Australia earlier this month. So there is a second front obviously happening, uh, a diplomatic front as well as an economic front. But Russia says that ban will last for five months from the 1st of February. It's just not clear how it will impact the global market. You know, Russia is one of the world's largest oil producers, but demand from the West has dropped after the invasion. So even though, you know, Ukraine is seeing some gains and Russia is having to uh, pull back at some points, we're seeing the second front also uh, impacting not just uh, Ukraine, but beyond Ukraine as well on a global scale. All right, Britt Klenet for us in Kyiv, Ukraine. Britt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.